Welcome to Women in Cybersecurity. I'm so excited to have Barbie Bigelow here with me today. She is Global Chief Digital Technology and Cybersecurity Executive, Board Member, and an Investment Advisor. Let's start with how you got into cybersecurity. What got you into this field and what do you like about it? Well, Melinda, the honest truth is it was necessity. So I had been asked to move from a profit and loss role, an operational role, into a CIO role, the first one for the electronics business at the company that I was at. You know, as the first CIO there, I really had to create the cyber function for our organization, uh, in particular, the um, cyber incidents response team, the CERT. We went about doing that in a way that really leverage the skill set um, and domain expertise of folks throughout the organization, pulled them together, kind of took them out of their day job into this cyber function, which really turned out to be a great thing because it brought in people who really understood the needs of the different parts of the business, the different functions, and what was happening uh, you know, when we had an incident, what the real risks were to the mm -hmm. organization. Then from there, we were able to evolve into, you know, more proper monitoring and understanding the tech stack, really putting together the whole picture. So tell me a little bit about your career journey. Can you talk about some of the earlier roles that you had? You know, I think really key to my uh, success has been those business um, P&L and operational roles. There, I think there's really no substitute for knowing the business and working directly with customers. In the roles that I, I've had, I've had that opportunity to be in aerospace and defense, to be in government, public service, to be in um, professional services and, and in manufacturing. And I'd say that the problems aren't that different as you move from industry to industry, but the way that maybe people approach them is a little different and being able to leverage um, you know, a best practice in a different industry into your industry is um, uh, a really powerful way to, to get better and, and, and bring innovation into your organization. Absolutely. And tell me about what you're doing today. How do you work with clients today in your new role? Oh, gosh, it's been really almost 10 years ago now when uh, the company I was with had, um, was sold. And we had a, a, mm -hmm. a, a wonderful exit event and uh, uh, sold our company to um, uh, you know, another company. And as part of that exit, it was really going to take a break. Uh, but at that time, some colleagues of mine that also were with that company ended up working in um, the legal field and, and with a big global company that had had a cyber breach. So I was asked to come in and explain to the board what the issues were and what needed to be done that it turned into about a year and a half engagement with that company from that you know I've, I've um, uh, launched a, um, a cyber a cyber consultancy I work mostly with boards uh, advising boards um, on cyber risk and cyber governance um, I also work with private equity quite a bit, advising um, private equity firms, both on the diligence side and on the operational side. And, and that's gotten me really interested in um, governance and cyber governance and systemic risk. And so those are the things that I'm mostly working on now. Mm -hmm. uh, recently launched just in June, the Women's Cyber Governance Collaborative. It's focused on training and advancing women in cybersecurity technology executives and women who are ready to go on to boards. It's a partnership between the Women's Business Collaborative, WBC, and uh, DDN, the Digital Directors Network. So we teach technology executives about cyber governance and systemic risk. Likely, there'll be new guidelines come out in the spring from the mm -hmm. SEC in terms of the disclosures that companies have to make on their um, both the cyber expertise on their board and the risk exposure of their company. Uh, so I think this is just a really great time for uh, technology executives to be looking at how they can better support their board and, um, and, th and then, of course, how they can get ready if they're interested in serving on boards ultimately. 
Absolutely. And thank you so much for being with me today, Barbie. It's been great to connect with you over the years and follow you. You're doing so much to share information and education with the community and just really appreciate all the work that you do. Thank you, Melinda. So for the audience, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check out the full podcast for the full audio of my interview with Barbie. And we'll see you next time on Women in Cybersecurity.